Ooh, this one's spicy, Tracy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I got my chips, I got my salsa, but there's one that's like, I take a little bite. Like last night I had Taco Tuesday. Had a, had a, had a, had a chip with a salsa. Ooh, spicy. That's what this episode is. So it's like the, what is that chip? The challenge chip that everybody's doing. No, God, I would not do Ghost that. Ghost pepper. Ghost pepper. Yeah. Yeah. South, the Carolina Reaper, I think it is. Uh, have you, you watched that do documentary, that. by the way? We're going off on different tangents, but it's shocking. Yeah, shocking. It is good. There's a documentary on people that eat peppers and have this high tolerance. It's pretty amazing. You should watch it. I'll get on Like, that. I have a high tolerance for you. I was going to say for Greg. For Greg, also. I got um, a low tolerance for him. Speaking of worst ways to start your nail career, yes. Greg, aka Greg, just kidding. Tracy, I think this is <laughs> a. I think this is a great episode for beginners okay we talk about what you should do a lot but the things that you absolutely should not do when starting your nail career i think is just as vital and important top of the list for you trace or let's just say one of the things at the top of the list for you i have something in mind but i want to just kind of like go back and forth here and vibe a little bit what is that for you somebody that that um could really mess themselves up the minute you guys said this, I one thing came to mind, and it was so annoying as an educator, is thinking you know everything. That's a real one. I think people it's, don't understand. Don't know how many times. There's always was always one in class when I went to the schools. Yes. Always one. and At the schools. At the schools. Haven't started their nail career yet. Hadn't even started the nail career. They knew everything and anything I, I even looked at one girl and said, would you like to teach? <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I, I did. No, you did not. What did she say? She, everybody, well, everybody jumped on her. Like, so she just kept her. Yeah. Stopped. I, it just, it got, if you get me to that point, you went way over. And it's like, <laughs> I don't care that if they ask me back because this has to stop. Yeah. And, and it's unfortunate. And I, it actually, it's, 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 it's annoying. I'm not going to lie. But it's actually, I feel bad for them because they're not going to get the benefit. And what's happened, every single one of them that I have met uh, that like that usually do not have a nail career. Right. That makes sense, though, because thinking you know everything, entering a whole new uh, um, you know, career, whatever that is, if you go into something, whether it's a new job um, a new skill you're trying to acquire, whatever it is. And if you walk into that, like, I know, I know how to do this, yeah. you know, you're, you're going, you're in for a lot of pain, man. A lot of pain. And, uh, you know, typically they're wrong. You know, this one girl, she, everything she said, it, it just makes it awkward because now I have to correct you. I have to correct what you just did, you know? So finally I'm just like, well, you just, you can just teach. Yeah. Um, you know, I met uh, one that she actually continued to have a nail career, very good nail tech now. Um, however, she, 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 I uh, remember teaching her when her, with, when she was at the school, I used to teach at the school all the time, you know, they'd have me come in like once a month and she was like, Oh, I can do a full set in 30 minutes. And I'm like, in my brain, I'm thinking I could do a full set in 10 minutes. It's not going to look good, but I could do it. You know, it'd be just, but and I would give her the benefit of doubt. Maybe she could, but she was one of those that just really thought she knew everything. And I don't know, I think it was about maybe max three, six months into her career. She actually showed up at my distribution thing crying because Nobody was coming back to her. And I'm like... She got crushed. She got crushed. Yeah. But she was willing at that point to listen. That's that's a big turnaround I, right I there. I actually was very honest with her. I said, you know, you've come out of the gate thinking you know everything and you don't. And that's okay because none of us do. Right. But you got to be willing to learn. And I'm not going to teach you if you're not willing to learn. Yeah, of course. I just... I love though that, you know, that, that happens in anything. If you think you know everything... You're going to get crushed. The question is, are you going to get humbled enough to be like, okay, all right, I don't know anything now. I need to learn. If you are, you're going to be on a good, a good track, yep. you know, from that point. Yep. Kind of like, kind of like. Be shameless. open. We yeah. all have to be open. And again, I want to, just so you guys don't think I'm just being, um, you know, uppity or everybody doesn't know what they're doing right. when they come out of school. Right. I did not have a clue. Of course. <laughs> not a clue. Of course. Um, here's one. I think is really, really, really important. Um, being a perfectionist, <laughs> being a perfectionist 
mm-hmm. in this area. And you know what's crazy? I swear to God, I really believe nails especially. I don't know what it is, but everybody seems to have like this, my nails need to be perfect. My nails need to be before posting them, before I take a client. I don't want to do anything until they're absolutely perfect. I'm going to sit there and prep for 45 minutes to make sure my prep is perfect. This idea of they've got to be perfect, Tracy. Yeah, perfection. Consistency. Consistency and perfection. Yeah. Um, here's the problem with perfection. It's it's everybody has a different version of perfection. So I've had people tell me they don't like Greg's nails. What? I don't though, Trace. I know. He was the one that told me, but I wasn't going to say. Greg himself told me. Um, (laughs) But it wasn't their version of nails that they like. There are shapes I hate. I hate. And that's someone's version of perfection. And they have clients that like that. So when you say perfection, that means nothing to me. Yeah. What perfection is to me is your clients look at their nails, and, and I don't mean take a picture and zoom in. <laughs> but that, yes, exactly. Which is what we do before we post, it's right? We all do this. Yep. Oh, let me zoom it in. And it's like, oh, that, I always say like that, that little spot between the, the cuticle and the product looks, all of a sudden looks like the Grand Canyon. Right. You know, um, I forgot where I was going with this, but you know, it, it's, 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 is your clients going like this? I love them. Right. They're so pretty. Here's your money. That's perfection. That's perfection. Exactly. Salon perfection. Right. Uh, Happy client, good service, nails are lasting, right? Yep. And understanding that over time, you'll continue to improve. Absolutely. There's little constant. Constantly. Constantly. You should always be learning. You should always be trying to do better. Yes. And I have, we, we have people that say, how do I know I'm a successful nail tech? When you have a clientele that comes in, that's happy and that pays you and they come back and they come back and they come back. But this, this, this idea of my nails have to be perfect. And especially if you're just starting out, dude, you need to throw that idea. Even if you're a seasoned tech, perfectionism is unrealistic. Mm -hmm. It, it's not. There's no such thing. We're human beings. We are imperfect. Every it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but it's just this idea in our head that flawless. Yeah, exactly. They've got to be flawless. They've got to be perfect, um, and it will damage you. There, there's, I see this a lot in. Um, I see it a lot in 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 my gym, Tracy. Mm-hmm. There's you know I go. I train, you work out and, and there's guys that want to train. If they don't have a perfect training session, I watch them before my eye. They beat themselves up. It's always tomorrow. Dude, they go on Instagram and they'll post like about how I, I'm this, I'm suck. I'm that. And it's like, yo, it's one. It's, it doesn't exist. It's how you grow. Yes. Actually. And, and that's the thing that I always say, you know, there, there are things sometimes you'll see about your nails and it's not enough to point out to the client the client will never notice but you just go i'm making a mental note next time i do that i'm gonna try it this way and i think it'll look better but your client's like no client dude no client if they're doing that get rid of them please <laughs> please Seriously. they pull I mean, out their phone do it like yeah do it to to any famous art and blow it up and see of you'll course. see lines tons I mean, of you'll imperfections see, yeah it's, tons that's the beauty that's of it. the beauty of it yeah exactly um Another one Mm -hmm. that I like is practicing the wrong way. Mm. And and something that that I think could really kill somebody's career. I think will, because it will drive you crazy. If you're practicing the wrong way, you're spending time, you're putting effort, and you're not seeing results, will drive you nuts and cause you to a lot of people to quit you know what i mean yeah and what, and what also on along those lines i'll hear people say well i'm going to use this product that i don't like um and then when i get better i'll 
practice with this or ah. I'm going to learn just learn hand filing and then when I get better and more experienced I'll learn the electric file you're going to struggle no matter what you're doing totally. when you first start but there are a few things that can make your life easier good product can make your life easier you know if you're working with a product that you're struggling with because it's just not a very good product practice with the product that you want to to use because you're going to struggle, but then you'll know that product instead of switching product and then having to learn the product. It sucks. Six years into hand filing, I went into electric filing. Mm. That was difficult to do. It is not natural. It, it, you know, especially when you have a career doing it a different way, it is hard to reteach yourself. If you're going to struggle in the beginning, do it with everything that seasoned pros are telling you you should do. Right. Use the things that you're going to be using eventually. I mean, I think that's a huge, mm -hmm. you know, somebody that's like, I'm going to practice just use, like you said, right? I'm going to practice just using hand files just because like, I'll get to the e-file later and dude, you're, you're going to drive yourself nuts. Retraining yourself. You Some, retrain. especially something like that. It took me time. I knew the electric file was going to uh, save my wrist. I knew it would eventually save me time, but it didn't at first. I mean, yeah. It cost me time at first of because course. it was just it's trying a new skill. to learn something new. So do all the things that you're going to want to do now while you're learning. Yeah. One of the big misconceptions in like in everything, in acquiring a new skill, right? Doing nails, whatever it is. One of the big um, things I always hear is like, well, if I just keep working hard and I just keep practicing, I'm going to get it. And you have to be very careful. I always say, you know, um, if, if I tell Tracy, Tracy, um, I want you to build me a house. And Tracy's like, you got it. And she goes outside and she's just digging a hole. And I might go outside. And I'm like, what are you doing? Says, I'm working hard. I'm going to dig this hole. I'm going to build this. And then like 30 days later, I come back and Tracy digs this gigantic crater. And I'm like, where's my damn house? She's like, I'm getting there. I'm learning. Yo, you're putting in the effort, you're practicing hard, you are you just keep digging a deeper hole. Going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. You have to be conscious of how you're practicing, yep. you know? And of course, you're going to make errors and make mistakes, but you've, you've got to be able to tweak it and get back on that right track. But, you know, starting with the right tools from the beginning, um, working one of the, the best... I think ways Tracy has talked about practicing that I love is like you do a full set and you time each section, right? Like mm -hmm. you time your prep, you time your application, you time your filing, you see how long it takes you. Um, this is after you get your technique down, yep. of course, right? But this is just one example of what I'm talking about. People are always like, I want to get faster. I want to, you know, but, but they're not they don't know what's I costing them, them well, time. How long does it take you to do this? I, I have don't no know. idea. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. So timing those sections and then going back and like if if I were a new tech, I'm not kidding you. I'd be watching all of your real-time videos, Trace, and I'd be sitting there and analyzing, okay, how is she doing prep? Okay, oh, I got it. Okay, she's, she's taking three to five minutes to do prep. What am I doing wrong here? Why is it taking me 20 minutes? Let me go back and watch this again. Let me watch, is she doing that on all the videos? Oh my God, consistently she's getting her prep in, you know, I think you do it in like a minute and a half or two minutes. I would be- It depends how bad the, the, the cuticle area is. Yeah. It depends, on, exactly. Yeah. Um, but like those practicing in the right direction, in the right way is so, so important. I think mm. you will drive yourself crazy if you don't. Yep, and then I have another one that I can Please. think of. I only specialize in. Ooh, I like this one. I only specialize in in triple X long nails. And that's fine. You can. I only specialize in uh, gels. I only specialize in natural nails. You can specialize in whatever you want. You can. And there's you can have a career in it. But guys, if you come out of school and go, I only specialize in, you have cut out a major portion of clientele. So it's going to take you a lot longer and you're going to get, I've seen it so many times, Habib, because I, again, when I did distribution, especially I had, you know, relationships with the, the, the newer people coming up and, uh, you know, teaching in the schools. Yep. Um, 
and I'd watch them and I would try to guide them and then they would just and then I would it just always happened either they just quit doing nails because they couldn't build a clientele it's like I understand wanting to specialize in x but you have to kind of be able to work on whoever walks through that door yeah and take their money until you build a clientele. Then you start tweaking it. I only work one day a week. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. But you can't at right, first. Right. I worked seven days a week when I first started doing nails. I got it down to, do, uh, I think by the time I quit salon, it was two days a week. But I was able to, at that po point, mold my clientele the way right. I wanted. Keep the ones I wanted. And I had my, my timing down so I could get... 10, 16 clients in a day if I wanted, you know, so I could do that. Um, but when you're, for, you have to be flexible when you first come out of school. That's right. When you first learn. You, it's better to spend the time on developing these skills in all these areas than I'm just going to do one thing and try to spend all the time finding only those people in the market to, to grow the clientele with. It's going to be so much harder. Yep. Um, and you'll just be more well-rounded um, and then like, like Tracy said, I love that you build your clientele, you learn all these skills. Then later, you know, I'm, I'm only going to do gel for a majority of my clients. You can do that. You have those options, those choices Absolutely. Yeah, to move it around. I love it. Guys, let us know in the comments below your thoughts on what you should not do, um, as a nail tech. We'd love to hear about it. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time. Best talk. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and